Yo, how's it going, nerds? Welcome back. Planet Zoo has an update for free and a new DLC called the, I think it's the North American Pack. Let me uh, get the actual name of this one. Is it the uh, Animal? What's the exact name? Yeah, North America Animal Pack. This includes a bunch of new animals, hence the name. Uh, that includes uh, eight new animals. The Arctic Fox, uh, who has the lowest temperature tolerance in the game currently. Also, it has uh, prairie dogs and, uh, let's see, also beavers and I think like a moose and stuff in here. It's basically the Canadian DLC, but it's pretty good. And uh, looks like it has very positive reviews, too. Looks like there's some crocodile, alligator, uh, ooh, a bobcat, lots of cool stuff here. More prairie dogs and stuff. Very nice. Very nice. I'm excited to give it a try. No, no, chat. We don't need a bear exhibit. No, we do not. No, we do not. Nope. Alright, well, I'm going to post a link now for everybody to click or tap join and become a member today. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. Bear with me as YouTube's still sending out notifications for our live stream. More fun to interact with everybody when, you know, the stream is live and whatnot. So thank you very much, everybody, for smashing join and becoming members. <clears throat> I got, like, a little bug in my throat in the moment. I swallowed some, uh, I was drinking some water, or what it, whatever it was earlier, and it just... Ugh. It hit, it hit hard. I'm weak. <laughs> Raptor's body is 70% water and was defeated by it. Molded by it. And now I have some coffee, which probably isn't the best thing either with the, uh, you know, coffee can be a little rough, but you know. You know how it is. Anyway, thanks again, guys, for joining us. We're almost to the 1 million subscribers, and uh, we're almost at 3,000 members, too. So if you haven't yet smashed join, dude, smash join. Support the channel. We'd love to have you here. It's good. It's good to have everyone here. All right, there's the link in the chat for members, and we'll restart our member giveaway. I'm going to hold on now to all of our giveaway goals. Every time you guys hit it, I'm adding some new giveaways for 1 million subs, which should happen in the next week, so long as everything goes according to plan. So as soon as possible, we're going to do some more giveaways of some pretty big uh, pretty big giveaways. we got a big giveaway plan. It's going to be big. Big giveaway. Big giveaway. Big giveaway. Oh boy. Oh yes, Planet Zoo, it's back. And that, that color is going to make me disappear. Is that a chicken? Oh, I love chicken. It's what my dino nugs are made of. What kind of coffee? Eh, just usually black, maybe a, spa a splash of milk. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, here's all my friends in that Planet Zoo too. Is that Simon? Oh, I'm in small brede. Good. All right. <clears throat> so in addition to the new animals, I think there's also a new timed zoo. Uh, the Jasmine Wildlife Park. And this is a good way to actually take a look at the uh, everything that's new. Hey, everyone, sub to my channel because it's all about me. That's true. Definitely make sure you subscribe. So the Jameson Wildlife Park is new. And uh, we'll take a tour of that to see all the new animals on display. And then we'll probably build our own park. So we'll go see what's new and get some ideas from that. If you, uh, By the way, if you really like this game and want to uh, get some ideas of your own, uh, the lady designer is like the biggest brain genius for this game that I've seen. There's a lot, there's a lot of people who play this game. Um, and, and they do some pretty darn good work and a lot of cool stuff. But every time uh, the lady designer makes a zoo and planet zoo, it's pretty damn good. And she seems to be getting quite excited for my neck of the woods, which is Jurassic... Uh, World Evolution 2 coming out pretty soon. Not long now. Sometime in November. It's going to be big. And yes, Jeff Goldblum, I am available for to hang out. Wow, well, we're in Canada. Or at least that's what I'm going to say. So we should have some uh, prairie dogs, which are or gophers. I'll have to see what they are. Are they prairie dogs? Are they gophers? Minnesota uh, the University of Minnesota's mascot is the Golden Gopher. Oh, I love this music. Hey man, brother. Keep on trucking and smash subscribe. Do it now. Keep the channel alive. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's some dam going on right there. Jameson Wildlife Park. Nestled in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains... Uh, the newly developed attraction aims to educate visitors while 
uh, providing its animals large naturalistic habitats. At least that's what the brochure said before the owners ran out of money. Pick up where the previous owners left off and complete the watery paradise before the session ends. I don't like these ta time attack modes, honestly. I wish they'd do more open-ended stuff. I love the map. And I like all the new animals, but I just want to take my time, especially when it looks this beautiful. Very nice looking game. And a lot of open space to design your own stuff. This has got to be for the beavers, right? Oh yeah, there they are. Oh, look at it go. More underwater animals is definitely welcome. Keep our eye on them. Is this Timberborn? Question mark? Where did that little tail go? Well, that's lots of water for them to chill out with. That's nice. And there's our dam, too. That's cool. I like that. Go for this, go for that. I could go for some Wendy's chat. Let's take a look at all the people. This game is so damn good, man. Playing this on like a cool autumn evening and just kind of like taking it all in. It's very breathtaking. It's very nice. Where are some other animals? Let's get our animal list up. What do we got for... Actually, can we sort animals by DLC? Oh, there's the Arctic Fox. Aww. Aww. Let's see. Population in the wild, 111, 110,000. This must be new, too. The American alligator. He looking thick. Uh, let's see. Any continent, North America. We could do a North America only zoo. Oh, that must be another one, too. Oh, there's the California sea lion. So these are all the animals. Oh, yeah, the cougar, too. Doll sheep. Some of these are in the base game or other deals. So, nope, that's nope. Don't need to look at that any further. This must be new member jaguar. Oh, the iguana is critically endangered. Jackson, thank you very much, dude, for becoming a raptor egg again. Welcome back. Ah, the moose. Three hundred thousand. Beautiful man. There's our North American beaver too. Nope, don't need to don't need to click on that. Red-eyed tree frog, reindeer, timber wolf. Some of these might be a part of the Arctic pack too, but they definitely all belong in North America. This would be nice to build a North American zoo. What a damn beautiful game for learning too. I love I love everything about Planet Zoo. Uh, where Planet Coaster is definitely fun and exciting to see all the roller coasters and uh, have everybody have a good time. It's more of an educational experience and more um, cozy. It's really a cozy experience. Ooh, does, does everybody get to walk over the... Oh, that's cool. Do the guests get to walk over this glass? Or is they just get to peek out at the uh, rocks down below? Oh, oh, sea lion. Zara, the California sea lion. Oh, boy. Sea lions look like dogs, don't they? Like their their face and noses pretty pretty closely resemble like a dog, like a pupper. At least to me. Oh, this one's going underground. Wow. The submarine has surfaced. Those are good animations. Oh, everybody gets to take a look from over there. Oh, that's a great display area. That's really cool. Oh, that one really likes to hang out up there. Good good place for them to do some uh, sun tanning. Including over here, too. Oh, people can actually take a seat now. Oh, that's great. I've never seen this before in Planet Zoo. Usually everybody stands around, but this is those uh, areas where you can see, like, dolphins do jumps and stuff. 
Oh, I can't wait for them to do like a big aquarium pack where it's like massive stuff. That's so, that's so cool. What is she saying? Uh, click or tap join to become a member. Never miss out on giveaways and such in the Discord. Links are down below in the description. California sea lions are, interestingly enough, not from California. But they're actually from uh, Colorado. Oh, no, J JK. Oh, she's just kidding. Okay. Rarr. Well, that's so cool. I love that, man. That makes me want to build my own little... Um, that, that's got to be new in this update. I'll have to read about the update, too. But again, check Steam for all the DLC notes and all the update notes. Because this is a big game. And that is that is so cool that they've done that, chat. It, uh, oh. They've got your seal of approval? Well, that's good. Dude, that's amazing, man. That people actually get to, like, come in. Like, usually, in Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo, people are just walking around constantly. In this game, they stop for a bit to look at a, a display or something, and then they keep walking. But, man, I would love for Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster both to get more areas where people could sit and kind of, like, enjoy a show. This is a little bit of a show. You like this game? Yeah, me too. It really is cool. I'm getting tim heavy Timberborn vibes right here, boys. Oh, the shingles look good. That is part of the new update? Yeah, uh, Delay Designer also had like a little tutorial on how to do setups for that too, so I'm that's what's making me think it's new. That's so cool. That is so cool. Okay, uh, there must be more animals here. Let's take a look at them. Let's see, animals. So we've seen the, have we seen these guys? No, we've not. All oh, the prairie dogs are in these massive caves. What the heck? Oh, wait. People get to walk down into, oh. Oh, I see. They want everyone to be quiet. Oh, okay. So this wa oh, this is a great little display. So the guests walk into a cave, and the prairie dogs are free to move to either side of the cave where there's some open ground. That's really genius, and a little bit of water too. So they come come out here, do some swimming, drinking, and then go back in and play and whatnot. Oh, that's nice. I like that. All right, let's take a look at the next animals. Uh, what do we have? We have a lot of alligators for sale, that's for sure. Oh, good. There's a little rep reptile display here with the American bullfrog on display. That's a big old frog. That's nice. Let's see. We've got... Uh, oh, the bobcat. Cougar, I guess. Only one. That's a, that's a big kitty. It's an awfully big kitty. Oh, it's raining. Ooh, oh, oh. You getting ready to strike? Damn, the rain looks so nice in this game. Okay, let's take a look at the... We have beavers, we have a male and female moose. Ah, uh, there's our big boy.
That's cool. Um, Ooh, look at the lighting. Damn, does that look cool. Check that out, man. That looks amazing. Ah, so this is where the guests get to take a look at the moon. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that, man. That is... That is majestic right there. Look at that, man. That's amazing. I feel like Bob Ross looking at some artwork. Yeah, some them some big, uh, big moose. I like how this works, man. I love how the guests come out here and do that. I, I like the whole, um, this feels like a really cozy uh, log cabin. It's very nice. Let's take a look at the, the map in general. So we have an hour in this game to, or in, in this game mode to accomplish some goals, but I'm not sure exactly what we need to do. Oh, there we go. Have 12 different habitat species in the zoo. Have two arctic foxes. Breed one new cougar, so we'll need to get a male or female, whatever the opposite is of the one in the cage. Uh, earn a yearly profit of fifteen thousand million thousand dollars, and increase education rating to three. Oh, the education rating's really good here already, though. One point five with the um, with the display thing. Dude, I love these buildings, man. That is that is just gorgeous. Look at this, man. I don't even want to. I don't even want this to be a, a time zoo. Like, who only wants to spend an hour here? Man, I don't want to start from scratch either, because this is like. I want to build here and then expand on it with this. Oh, look at that! I like this game for all its little details. That's nice. And this is. The, Oh, I see you. Wow, okay. Jeez, that's crazy. You you walk right in and boom, immediately to the left. On the left side, there's immediately a display for a moose. That's wonderful. Yeah, it looks great indeed. I like the, the day-night cycle. It, it's kind of harder to see, but like the lighting really just is... It's nice. Nice. All right, is there any other animals we haven't seen yet? Let's take a look. No animals in storage. Uh, we don't have a crocodile or alligator, do we? Oh, we do. Where are they at? Well, they're hanging out over here. Are there elk or Colombian black-tailed deer? I, do, I haven't seen those before, but those could be in here. Did you know there's a beaver city here in Utah? Yeah, that's what I wanted to kind of call my, uh, my resort was beaver city. It just sounds cool. It's, it also sounds like a real city, too. I'm sure there's got to be a city in the United States called beaver city. All right, I feel like starting from scratch. Oh, man. Look at that. That sunrise like that, bro. Bro. Look at that, man. That's gorgeous. I, there needs to be a way in this game, too, by the way, to lock time. I think I think there's a way where you can make it, like, day-night cycle off, but I'd love to just lock it in at a certain time just to take pictures. It's nice that we get games like this. I want to. I want to see a more intense city builder like this, where it's like a perfectly, wonderfully Deep fan and a supporter. Thanks for the hours upon hours detailed of environment. Content. Love you, bro. Aaron Smith, thank you very much for the ten, dude. Big O shout out to you, man. Thank you very much for your, your support. You live next to a town called Beaverton. Oh, that's interesting. This game is severely underrated for its like. Um, just the environment. Like, everybody thinks about the animals and the zoo and, like, the facilities you can build, but 
Bob Ross would be smiling at this game. You want me to start from scratch? All right, Chad, if you get to 200 likes, we'll start from scratch. And we'll try to channel the essence and the energy of Bob Ross and the talent of uh, Delay Designer and uh, Silverot and everyone else who plays. And the people who play the uh, wonderful uh, Jurassic World Evolution. Which is a lovely game, too. And I cannot wait to see the community build enclosures in that. If you like those types of games, by the way, um, I also should suggest to you a game called Prehistoric Kingdom. That game will have an incredible amount of customization, too, on this scale. All right, chat, you reach 200, you win. Oh, dude, look at this landscape. Oh, man, this is Minnesota, baby. Well, they say Blue Ridge Mountains, but um, this this really reminds me of <laughs> going fishing a lot. These are how things look in the mornings, like that. That's beautiful. Uh, Beaver City, Nebraska, and Beaver, Utah. Yeah, beavers are cool, dude. All right, well, let's go ahead and make our own now. So Chad has spoken. We've seen the animals. We've been inspired. Let's go build. But you got to be inspired to build, though. Man, there's some beautiful buildings in this game. I, I hope a lot of them are in the uh, workshop. Or not in the workshop, but in the blueprints. Or we could download our own. So let's do a challenge park. Yep. Let's start a new sandbox park. And we'll build that. Uh, where's... Oh, Minnesota's kind of in two biomes here. The grasslands. And the uh, temperate... I think we'll build in the temperate area. Put on easy, because I, I want to see as much of this in the shortest amount of time possible. There's too many cool things to, like, grind. Let me build right there. That's close to Minneapolis. All right, let's see. Uh, easy terrain type flat... Oh. Oh, is there, like, an... Is this new? Where it actually like creates the map for oh it must be new because i did see height map videos coming out so no more flat land you can actually build in like a pre oh dude i love that i want planet coaster to get that too where it like creates a random landscape for you and then you got to build within it that is that's a good Life choice can be rough until we remember we get to share this planet with such wondrous animals i'm in tears over this game yeah this game's pretty damn amazing okay that's cool i, I want planet coaster to have like generated landscape so I can build within it. That that makes me more creative when I have to like... That That's beautiful. Mm, that's beautiful. That's a 1.7 update. That's new. Yeah? Okay. Oh. That's mm, that's good. Get Planet Zoo available now. I, <laughs> I love that. I hope the uh, new Jurassic World Evolution gets that too, because that's cool. What's, what does Sculpted mean? Oh, here we go. Uh, which type of terrain to create? Flat will create a standard flat zoo. Sculpted will create a terrain sculpted zoo. Height map based on information. Okay. Height load times may be excessive. Well, let's try sculpted and see what it gives us. I hope it creates something random. Uh, North America temperate. I'm going to go ahead and call this. We're going to build a beaver city inside Minnesota Zoo. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this... Wait, is... Well, the DLC is... Uh, hold on, let me check the pricing real quick. While this loads in. Alright, so as an FYI, folks, this game's probably on sale because of the update. Nope, it's not. But forty four ninety nine fair for the amount of content in the base game, for sure. And then the newest... Yeah, newest update is ten bucks, and also, well, I should say the newest DLC is ten bucks. The update is uh, free. Bro, oh man, oh I always wanted this and thought it was impossible. Okay, I want mine to be a little bit more. Uh, I want it to be more like the water of the last map. This is this is dank. Wow. That's perfect. This is like downloading a map from the workshop. 
And of course, we can sculpt this. It doesn't look perfect, but it definitely is a lot more interesting to look at than Empty Blank Park, uh, number 3000. Yeah, with the with the updates too, or with the DLCs, you don't just get the animals. There's also a ton of new items and stuff they usually throw in. They always sweeten the deal with a lot of stuff. And to be fair, I think um, Frontier does an incredible job with all of their building games. I, I really hope that they branch out and do even more. Uh, Planet Coaster, fantastic. Planet Zoo, amazing. Jurassic World. I want them to do a city planet, man. I, I want them to try city building. All right, is there an entrance predetermined here? Is that a freaking volcano? Um, hmm. <laughs> well, we could fill that with water and do like a beautiful waterfall. Uh, down the center here, that would be cool. That's gorgeous. I think we need to put... A, if we're going to put an entrance down, it should be here. Although, how big is the map here? Are there outlines? Oh, yeah, they're there. There's the outline. Oh. That is... Wonderful. That is grand. I love that. 10 out of 10 on that update, man. Already, just because of that feature. I want there to be more games where it just... You know, like, uh, Transport Fever has that, too, where you can set the parameters and then it'll randomly select the uh, terrain for you. Uh, you know what I'm interested in? I would like to uh, go back. I, I want to do a couple re-rolls to see what else the game will do with the terrain. I just want to see what it might do. I'm just curious to see how it would how it would make the landscape. <laughs> Wait, scenario zoo. Oh wait, I get to build in the scenario. Wait, I don't have to play in the time attack mode? I can play in that pre-existing zoo? Oh, I love that one so much. Okay, maybe I can go build in that map. But hold on. I want to see if... I want to try to make a few more of my own... Uh, my own zoo, though. I just want to see what it'll do. North America... Yeah, the maps are huge, so this does a good job of, like, making it fill in. There's some space that just can't be used, so that, that does a good job of filling that in. Yeah. It's like not, not letting me select where I want to put it. I just want to see it make one more zoo just to see how differently the landscape looks. How do I pick the location? Well, let me choose where it went before. Now it won't let me. I don't want to do sandbox. Well, whatever. Let me. I don't care where it is. Let me just generate terrain and see what it looks like. I just want to see the terrain generation. Let's do height exam example one. Let's just see what it does. Is that an anteater down there? Oh, it's loading. This extra load time is good. It means it's it's making us a good park. Oh. 
Okay, that's interesting. What that means is that the file that they're loading this from has texture on it, and that's how the game knew how to make this that way. So that means that you can take the height map of any location and make it that way. In other words, you get like a map of a small area of uh, the landscape of Tokyo and then like make a little area like that. That's cool. So those are the predetermined ones. And one more, just want to do one more and then we'll start. And I think I want to build in the other map because it just reminds me of my homeland, my country, my people. The land of tater tot hot dish and Norwegian people. John, thanks for the dollar, dude. Okay, new sandbox. Temperate, North America. Give me sculpted. I hope that's a random mode. That's what I'm thinking. I want to test that out. Last time, though, and then we'll start a zoo for real, though. But it's always good to just goof around and take a look at what's new and see how it works. Okay, so that's pre-designed. that's pre -designed. Okay, so it's not random every time. But it looks like you can pop in some files to be random. And you could probably download some very easily made um, files on the workshop and then pop those in. So that's good. In other words, you can make a really nice look. If you wanted to, you can make a beautiful landscape and then share it with a friend and then see, you know, how they make a zoo differently than you. Love it. So it's not randomly generated. It's generated from files that can be randomly generated. So it kind of works. Okay, let's build a zoo. Let's build a zoo, damn it. Jameson Wildlife Park. I'm going to go ahead and call this one easy. Whoa, easy, Jessica, easy. There's moose in here, too. Hold, slow your breathing. Hold up, breathe with me. In and out. Okay, Jessica. There's beavers. Now, hold on. There's moose. Whoa, hold on. There's also gophers. There's California sea lions. There's American alligators and more. And some other things, too, like the Arctic Fox. And a few things from the Arctic Pack, too, like reindeer and stuff. So this is Canadian Beavers. Simulator. Beavers. Shannara, thanks for the three as well. Thanks, Jessica, for being so kind, too. Jessica, we got to get your sub number up. I, w I am going to work on you and Red next now that Buford got to his thousand. It's time for you next. Yeah, gophers are in the game. All right, let's, call let's do this, boys, finally. Let's get it done. Wait, terrain only? <gasps> Clear this... Oh, clear the zoo of all scenario items. Oh, dude. That's awesome. So you can load the map. So if there's a if there's a map you really like, but you wanted to build your own zoo there, like the panda park, you can just clear the panda park and use the terrain. The devs are so good at making beautiful landscapes. I always got discouraged because I could never make a nice landscape, but my zoo I was always happy with. John, thanks for the two. That is so... So now you can take every scenario from the game and delete it. There's a few here that I either need to... Un like Nevada State Eco Zoo. You could delete all the land there and just build on the landscape. That's... Oh, that's perfect. I cannot stress how awesome that is. All right, let's make this terrain only. We're going to build our own zoo here. Should we start from scratch? I think we should, yeah. There we go. We're starting from scratch. I'm going to throw it on easy so we can at least try to see more of the stuff. We're going to try to do it legit, but also easy. So it's kind of a balance between full sandbox unlimited and uh, business mode. Oh, they put all the water in there themselves? That's cool. So they put in all the trees and the water themselves. Dude. Oh, that's gonna look oh that's gonna look so cool. Oh yeah, there's where they uh, plan to do their little uh where they did the prairie dog setup. We could actually change that and put Arctic foxes in there. <sighs> this is gonna be awesome. Oh, what's that? Hmm. This is sweet. Although what I would like is a mode where uh, the trees are still here. I, I, wanna, I want the slider to go terrain only, uh, like the standard mode, or like, tr like wildlife only. I do want that. 
I, w I want to be able to see, uh, not wildlife, but uh, the trees and such. Ooh. Dutch simulator. Velociraptors. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah, I hope they have these two. Well, they don't necessarily have these tools in Jurassic World Evolution. I've played that game a bit, and it's fun. Uh, but this this has a little bit more for the terrain shaping, which is good. Okay, let's delete water and go a little more shallow. There we go. I should be able to delete some of this water. Okay, so we can't go higher than that. Yeah, that's about, that's about it right there. Hmm. What's up, Hardy Boy? Thanks for being a member for nine months. Appreciate that. Okay, I would start from scratch, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just add on to the pre-existing uh, map because I don't want to spend all my time uh, with trees. I want to start getting into the animals now. So we're gonna finally start with the scenario. I've decided what I wanted. I've made my decision. Scenario Zoo, Jameson Wildlife Park, difficulty easy. Minnesota State Zoo. Let's go. Uh, Wolverine, thanks for the 10 months as a raptor hatchling. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for the amazing content. Glory to Raptoria. Glory to you guys. We're almost to the 1 million. I love how this, this screen always makes my face disappear because it matches a green screen. It's hilarious. It makes me go Keck W. Keck W emote. It looks like that penguin's hitch uh, hiking. He's looking for a ride. There, that's more like it. Well, I wanted to start with just the trees, but uh, I guess we'll start with this pre-existing. But I don't want the time scenario. I want to do what I want. And this game allows us to do that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how these developers do it, man. Is the, oh, there should be no animals here, right? Uh, where's the animal list? Oh, we do have the animals. Okay. Well, that's okay. I want to do all the things, but without scenarios. Okay, let's get cracking then. So we'll open up the zoo. And we'll start making our own stuff. Looks like there's a good air area here to build some stuff. We need a arctic fox, though. Where could we put that? The entrance is here. Right there. So this is for California sea lions. This is for moose. Wait, no. The fence is way too weak for that. What? The moose? Are you kidding me? This is the fence to keep the moose back? It's it's just a chain link fence. You gotta be kidding me. Dude, that should be like a 45 foot... Like that should be like a dinosaur fence from Jurassic Park. <clears throat> Tora, thanks for being a member for seven months. Thanks for smashing and join and becoming an egg and whatnot and supporting. That's very nice. Black... Uh, membership for 10 months as well. Dude, all these members here. Show off those memberships, everybody. And if you, if you haven't become a member before, members want you to be one of us. Yeah, the moose do seem to like water. 
Wow, look at that. We're actually seeing Jessica B's backyard. Look at that. Oh, this is where she goes camping. Oh, we're in the, the Jessica B cam right now. She's got a GoPro on. Yeah, it's a big ol' moose, that's for sure. This is beautiful, man. I love that. Yep, I, I cannot get over... I cannot stress enough how beautiful that is, that water and stuff. Although this water looks really dirty. In comparison, is it supposed to be? Filthy water. Filthy. Do they have filtration systems here? That's supposed to be good water? No. Apparently this is filthy water here, but... Wait. Aren't there supposed to be beaver there? Oh, no, I see. The water flows from the beaver dam... Uh, down into their holding tank and then down here, I see. H to check water? Thank you, chat. Thank you very much. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is like a... Enclosure that has nothing in it. Hmm, this could be good for the Arctic foxes. Is there anything here? Uh... Nope, nothing in here at all. I don't see nothing. Yeah, well, she's not going to be happy with that dirty water like that. That's not nice. <clears throat> Paper Tiger upgrading to a Raptor Plus. Yeah, thanks for the support. And Cherry Hunter, two months as a little Raptor. Proud Canadian. Long live to beavers. Yeah, you Canadians, you got some beautiful land up there. That, that's... I love, I love this. This is beautiful. It's like the fjords. It's interesting. It's like um, it's like the fjords of uh, Norway and Sweden, but a little bit more rolling hills rather than like sheer cliff faces and such. Very beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm being. I'm very captivated by this. I love this. I'm. I'm so in the mood for this. It's great. Very great. Okay, let's pick an area and get started. Um, well, let's work on the cougar. She needs a or he, whoever it is. Uh, where is that? There you are. That is a dude bro. And we're going to name it... Uh, Exabel, thank you very much. We're going we're gonna to find Bradford True Love. We're going to name our cougar Bradford. He's a big kitty. A big kitty. Ooh, that's a big kitty. Raptor, will you give my mom a shout out? I'm showing her the channel. Hi, Mallory's mom. New member. She's very lovely. Thanks for letting her be a part of our uh, streams all the time. Just make sure she doesn't stay up too late. 2 a.m. is the bedtime, okay? Only watch the videos until 2 a.m. Well, thank you, Mallory, for the long term support. You're the best. She is the best. All right, let's get another big old kitty in here. Oh, we have a present. Uh, claim rewards, habitat, species, welfare. Oh, we get a thousand bucks. Cool. Man, this is ultra chill. This is really chill. I love this. Could not be in a better mood for this right now. All right, let's get ourselves a cougar. Ooh. A wifey? Wait, it's a very small one. Well, yeah, that's what happens when you breed them. Yeah, we have to breed them for the wild. That's kind of weird. They have these massive glass walls. I don't think that's... I don't like that for this enclosure. I think the glass is appropriate down here. Especially for the visitors there, but... Hmm. There seems to be another holding fence here. What goes under there? 
Oh, this must be for the prairie dogs? No, the alligator must be over here. Yep. So the alligator's welcome to swim all the way over here for feeding time. That glass might not be strong enough. Maybe. Let's, uh, you might be right. Let's, let's do a little research on that. Um, uh, let's see. How would I find that out? Social, genetics, and environment. No, he doesn't, doesn't like a few of the, uh, trees in here. A little, little unhappiness with that. Want some more grass coverage. I, I really like, by the way, improving these parks. Starting from scratch is cool too, but there's something about renovation that's very nice too. Like the developers, you know, intentionally put wrong things in there and you kind of have to do a little investigation. You, you just have to check some boxes and then make sure that everything looks nice. Right, well, let's add some grass. I think they want tall grass. Nope. Ooh. There's the other cougar. Mm, I don't see it increasing the number at all. Plant and tree coverage. Okay, so it's not necessarily the grass they want plants to. So we'll duplicate a couple of trees. Wait, how do I stop the day-night cycle? Reduce animal aging rates, time slower. Oh, you can make the animals last a lot longer. Well, that's nice. That's like how it is in The Sims. Well, yeah, let's, uh, let's double that. That's good. Uh, can you zoom in pretty close to the animals? Yeah, you can get really close to them. Yeah, check this out. It's about as close as you can get, but that's perfect. Greetings from the Czech Republic. Well, thanks for being here. Where's the raptor exhibit? That will be in another game, my friend. Soon enough. Uh, I don't see an option for day-night cycling. Terrain paths, blueprints, nature. Oh, isn't it under like hours of operation? Oh yeah, this thing. It's really weird, like you can... Yeah, I remember how that goes. This will be better for chat though, so you can see. So we can, we can essentially make it day or night time anytime we want. But rather than setting the time of day, we change it via the opening hours, which is like really weird. You, you kind of think that affects the business, but I don't think it does. All right, let's add some nice habitat here. Okay, we have a Bradford. Where's our other cougar? Let's see. Ooh, cool. Wow, Bradford's doing a grind. Showing off. Look at that, like Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Wow, good trick. <laughs> uh, let's see, we need another one. Uh, 
Ah, there it is. Bradford and Brenda. Congratulations, Bradford. This kitty is five. And Bradford is... Gone. He's disappeared. I think he escaped. Sound the alarm? No, I'm, I'm kidding. He's probably fine. Okay. Uh, oh, there's an area to build a staff room there. Okay, let's work on the cougars first. They're pretty cool. Love this pack. This is a really good one. Well, they're all good, but this one's just particularly more near and dear to my heart. Because of all the landscape. I like how every tree doesn't sit perfectly straight either. Some of them kind of lean a bit, but it definitely works nicely. Uh, what are the limits of height and depth you can manipulate the terrain? Well, there's a new height map uh, system to the game now, so I, I think the traditional rules may have changed. But again, the lady designer has a video on tutorials for height maps now, and she may cover like the maximum height and depth limits. But those may have been adjusted based on the new update, so make sure you check her out. She is the... Uh, Empress of of Planet Zoo. She's really cool. Yeah, I think I think the ladies uh, do Planet Zoo much better than the fellas, and I think the fellas do Planet Coaster a little better than the ladies. But that's just my opinion. I'm probably wrong, but it's really cool to see how much uh, people put in detailing and uh, artistic touch, and um, you know, bring in their own their own uh, sense of decoration, their own their own. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? They bring in their own um, design feeling or whatnot. I don't know. It, personality. Everybody has their own personality to the game. Okay, let's see if the cougars are happy now. Ooh, look, a zebra. That's a strange looking zebra right there. Hmm. Yeah, their own flair, their own style. Everybody does things differently. Nobody's better than anybody else. Everybody's got their own thing that, you know, they can teach somebody else by stumbling upon or by being an expert at. Nobody has the right answers or the wrong answers. Ooh, Bradford is scared of a box. Look at him. Yeah, you show that box, Bradford. Ooh. What's that? Oh, no? Not interested? Oh, she's playing hard to get. Okay, uh, we need to increase their nutrition, but I suppose that's because... Actually, do we have employees here? We better stop and make sure we have employees. Uh, staff. We have two caretakers. That's not enough. Two keepers. I'm going to add two more of that. I'm going to double up on our staff. Let's go with two new keepers. Two new caretakers. Uh, eh, mechanics are probably fine. Maybe another security officer. Do we have any? Four caretakers, two security, two mechanics. And we'll do another... We'll do another educator later. Oh, let's hire another vet for sure. There we go. Nice of you all to drop in. <laughs> Thank you. Right, how are they feeling now about their enclosure? Uh, they want a bit more coverage. Okay. Another good friend of mine, too, who does well in these types of games, though I don't know if he's played Planet Zoo specifically, is uh, my friend Uthras. Um, every game that he touches where there's some level of uh, customization and, well, really, 
an extreme level, such as this, where you can customize almost everything. Uh, he's very talented at Very good. Morning, uh, Buffy Taylor. Good to see you. Yeah, aesthetics are a lot of things in this game. You you want things to look... I, I In this game, I kind of care a little bit more about the animals, but people who can master both uh, a realistic-looking enclosure or, like, a guest viewing platform or something like that, they're just... I mean, if you go back and look at this game when it released versus where it is now, the community's done a great job of, like, giving tons of feedback, and the developers have listened, listened and... Added a lot of uh, new stuff based on, you know, plan. They they probably planned a lot of these DLCs years out ahead of time, but um, some of them were probably by player feedback, being like, "Hey, come on, can we get more elephants? Or come on, let's get more plants." Uh, diseased animal detected. Uh oh. She has something called Camp Lo. What now? Oh, it looks like the vets got her. Oh, nice. The vets can just enter the cage now and, like, teleport them across the map. That's cool. She's got something called camp Campylobacteria... Some sort of bacterial infection. Oh, and here comes the food. Yeah, don't like this. This looks uh, not great. That, that's lazy right there. But we can fix that. We'll fix that. Yeah, Bradford's single again. Good news, ladies. Okay. Um, what we could do for the cougars, too, is maybe make, like, a mountainous area around them so they can't go up. Oh, they are mountain lions. So they might be able to jump, but... Okay, well, that's much better. Where, where's our animal now? Sort by animal. Oh, he's happier now. Still need to work on those plants a little bit more, though. Oh, that's a rack of ribs there, homie. Enjoy that. Since we're in the autumn time too, I'm I'm just really down to put down a ton of uh, fall colors, you know. Yeah, the detail in this game is great. And if you're not so much into zoos, Planet Coaster is a game where you get to build amusement parks, and that's even even cooler. Well, they're both cool. Just depends on what you're in the mood for. And I am definitely in the mood to. Uh, Make animal habitat some minor improvements. Just being real chill tonight. The water is also a problem here too. I think we should put down a chain link fence so water can filter out. Oh, you want to see gardening in this game? That is a good point. There is a beautiful uh, amount of plant life you can put in the game, too, to show off. You know, obviously, plant life in Madagascar is going to be a little different than that in Japan, which may be different than that in uh, Canada. Yeah, that would be cool to see. Kind of look lonely, but I like it, though they're not in their enclosure, but it kind of brings the space together a little bit. Damn, that looks cool. Okay. Yeah, I agree with you. I think garden gardening would be great. Oh, cool. Uh-oh. Oh, that's the lake. Wait. Incubating... Oh, was she not cured? Oh, we need a cure for that, I think. 
Okay, well, they're happy with their habitat now. I think we need to get our vets to research that disease and cure it. Yeah, this is it. Active disease. No vet assigned. Uh, let's see. Winford, you're on it. Alright, cool. We'll get a cure for that disease and get it administered ASAP. This is just so beautiful. I love this. It is nice to be somewhere in between of having like Remember, something so kind of made for you so you have a template to guide you, but then also to be able to do things yourself too. I don't know. This is this is great. I'm on cloud 10 right now. Dane Smith, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. Now this is for the... Uh, how many uh, seals do we have? We have a total of three. Oh, they're all ladies. Ladies. We have Zara, Zoe, and Georgia. Well, ladies. Time to get in an eligible bachelor. Oh, there's none available. No eligible bachelors are available. I wonder if there's a way to sort by DLC. But we can just sort by animal, too. Uh, beaver. We have a North American beaver. I think we got plenty of beavers, though. Take another look. Alright, animals in our... Zoo. Male and female cougar seems fine. Oh yeah, that's, oh that's a good number of beavers. Oh, with some of them expecting too. I think we actually have a good number of animals here. There's one male, um, black-tailed prairie dog are the name of these. One male black tail prairie dog, and then the rest are females. Nope, two. There's two. Oh, there's a lot of those. Cougar, moose. Okay, I want to try to put in arctic foxes now. I can tell you that ithromycin treats... Oh, man. Camp Le But I have my associates in applied science and veterinary and technology. Oh, that's good. That's really neat. I want to, um... I want to sort by... Is there a way I can sort by... Well, timber wolves would be cool. That's definitely North American. What do you guys want to see? What, what North American animal would you like to see in here next? We could do timber wolves. We could do arctic foxes. Arctic fox is new. We could do that. Um, I, I just love how this is already pre-set up for some of the most beautiful creatures. Like, that's, that's just gorgeous. That moose like that. That's gorgeous. You're going to play Planet Zoo also? I, I love when you guys do that. I love when you play the same game while you're watching, too. Gives us all good ideas. Yeah, Timber Wolves and Arctic Foxes I think we should put in here next. So let's find a nice spot to put them. Hmm. There seems to be a guest pathway all the way over here. So the beavers are here. So the main entrance is... The main entrance is where? Here. So immediately off to the left is the moose. And off to the right is... California sea lions over here. Oh, does that create a waterfall? 
I wonder if the higher water can flow into the lower water. Over the over the fence. So here are the prairie dogs. Ah, this this area isn't occupied. That's a lot of water. Hmm. We could do some sort of a turtle or something here. Fox by the main wolves in the middle. I don't know if we have uh, wolves. No. Yeah, we'll put Bigfoot in here. This right here. This would be a perfect spot here. Because actually, this leads to the cougar's enclosure. So what we could do is we could push the, enclo the enclosure over a little bit and then extend it up. And then we could do timber wolves right here. Why does the... Uh... Oh, this is for the beavers. We got to find a good spot to put it. And I think here might be a good spot. But we're going to have to... Re this would be good. We'll just have to redo this area. Wait, why is there a fence? Oh, for the alligators. Hey! Raptor, are you still gonna be playing Gas Station Simulator again? Car, petrol pump. Sure are, as soon as there's an update to it, for sure. Hmm. We're gonna have to redesign this area a little bit, but I think that might be a good spot for... the wolves. No pathway goes up here. Definitely could put something here. Trying to just find an area where there's a lot of traffic but not a lot of uh, enclosures. And what we could do instead is actually we could convert this to a... Uh, Instead of an employee path here, we could make all of this for the guest. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can get, let's see if we can actually get Arctic foxes first. Oh, good. Research completed on that bacteria. All right, let's try Arctic. Arctic fox. We can buy a male and a female. Okay, we'll buy a male and two females. And then we want timber wolves. Although I think we'll we'll try to go for the new stuff first. We'll make that a top priority. Okay. So Arctic foxes. Let's learn about them and see what they like. Uh, can we treat this animal now? All of that to take the animal to a quarantine facility. Yes. Okay. Oh, we have another gift. Claim rewards for breeding a new animal, and that's it. Okay. Ooh, we have a thousand people in the park. That's a lot. There's quite a few people in here. Uh, where's, like, the animal wiki? Arctic fox. 
He looks like he heard a funny joke. All right. Uh, population 110,000. Natural habitat is northern Canada, northern Russia, Scandinavia, and Greenland. And apparently all of Iceland, or most of it. Wow, their temperature requirement is between negative 50 degrees Celsius and 28. Oh, this is cool. Look at this, chat. You can actually calculate what the... Oh, that's neat. So if you wanted to have three adults or four adults and like three children, you can see what their land requirement will be. That's neat. So it does the calculation for you. So one requires 200 square meters. Two would require 232, 264, 296, 328, etc. That's cool. That's very helpful for laying out an enclosure. That's very nice. Now, uh, Christian, thanks for the five. Appreciate that. If you need help with saying the illnesses, I'm here for you, Raptor. Huh. Gotta let this degree shine while any time I can lol. Rainbow, rainbow, oh, yeah. rainbow, that again. rainbow, rainbow. Rainbow. I think that's how you pronounce that disease, yeah. Alright, these guys want a grade two, four, let's just say four and a half foot high fence. We have, uh, actually, I think we have three adults, so it's got to be almost 300 square meters. Okay. Oh, and let's take a look at their uh, social status. How do they operate? Species data. Relation with human shy. Male bachelor group, one to five. Group size, one to eight. Oh, so we can have quite a few of them. I wonder if the moose benefits from doing anything. Moose? Wait. Oh, there it is. Oh, the moose doesn't benefit. What about beavers? Beaver doesn't benefit. Wait, what about the sea lions? Wow, all these animals want to be, like, alone. Okay. I do like when you can make an enclosure with, like, uh, antelope and, like, elephants and um, giraffes and stuff together. When they'll, like, be all in the same enclosure. It looks really cool. Hmm. So their fence needs to be four meters high. How tall is this? That's two meters high. Uh-oh. Well, four feet is like... I think four feet is less than a meter, right? Yeah, we'll do like one and a half meters to make it make it uh, work. So this is the enclosure for the beaver habitat. Oh wow, they're having some nice spinach. One meter is about three feet. Okay, so we'll do about like one point five. Tan says one point two. We'll do 1.5 to make uh, make sure. Okay, let's design this enclosure. Let's get it done. Do they need more of this atmospheric chill music, dude? I'm I'm in the mood to chill.
Don't you worry, sir. I'll uh, take care of this. What do they use on the ground for regular path? They're using like this mulch path? Tree bark. Okay, so it's like a mulch path. Okay. So the arctic foxes are going to hang out here. Boy, I hope they like this place. Six meter feels right. Yep. And the good old metric system. Yeah, I prefer metric, honestly. Being in the US, I have to learn both, but metric is just... It's just easier. Which is why we don't use it, because... If you cause uh, confusion, that makes that well, that makes better profits. It just means more money. We can make this path up here. Is how Americans do dates? You mean like a month, month, day, year? Oh, there's like a little cabin here. Well, that would be perfect for the guests to come around. Yeah, we're gonna connect that over here like this. Day, month, year is perfect. I prefer month, day, year for myself. But other than that, metric is superior. Although Fahrenheit is more based on feeling. I feel like it's much... When I hear the temperature in Celsius, it never feels like that. Like, right now, 21C in this game is uh, 72 Fahrenheit. But Celsius is based off of water. Which is like... That makes so much sense that this is like, whoa. Alright, so our guests can come up here. What I would like to do is a nice observation stand for the uh, the foxes, but they're kind of shy. So we want to keep the guests away from them if we can. You'd spend hours just crafting the terrain. It is satisfying to do that, yeah. Well, faux show. I believe that's broken.
Research one-way glass exhibits. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't know if I can do that all over, but there certainly could be an opportunity to use that. Good idea. Let's see if that's unlocked. Uh, let's see. Under mechanics. Um... Ah, there it is. Level 5. Okay. We'll have to work our way down there, but yes, we can do that. I don't know if that's enough space for them, but we definitely need to make a super cold area. And they probably want to stay in a cave. Right here, we're gonna make a cave here. All right, let's get some F's in the chat for uh, Planet Zoo's uh, terrain system that I always struggle with. Maybe they've changed it since this recent update. It's usually a pain for me. This is insanely satisfying. Yeah, dude, the, uh... We're, right now we're in a challenge, uh, we're in the, yeah, the challenge mode where you have to manage money and stuff, but honestly, if you're looking for ultra chill, like, just load something in the sandbox and, like, you don't even have to make your own stuff, just kind of improve upon what the game's made itself, I don't know. Now yeah, there's no wrong answers in this game. Everything's just an experimentation. Not a dude, never mind. Well, you know what I mean. Dude, bro, friend, guy, bud. You know how it goes. Fe fellow gamer. My intentions are good. Okay, well this is not looking like complete uh, trash. Lady gamer I prefer. Well, I prefer sweet and sour sauce. That's what I that's what I prefer. <laughs> well, good. You're all welcome to my zoo. Welcome again to all the new members, guys. Thanks for smash and join and uh, thanks for all the subs, too. We're almost to a million. So this is a real nice like pre-million chill. We'll call this the uh, the pre-chillion. 1 chillion subs, man. Ladies. Fellow gamers. My fellow gamers. I don't think there's going to be enough room for the foxes, but we can definitely make like a few little hangout spots for them. We can make a couple little different caves that aren't connected, but that are similar in location. Loving the dead tree. That looks nice. The, the foxes might not like this, but we'll uh, try it out. I need to also make a low area for cold. Well, this is going to be nice. Then the people can kind of stand up here and look down into the enclosure. That's nice. Boom, 
bum, 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 bum. Girl dudes, yeah. Well, you know, you know that old song from Keenan and Kel, like, he's a dude, she's a dude, we're all dudes. Dude, bro, friend, guy. It's all just a term of endearment, that's all. <laughs> I'm having a good time. All right, so... Um... Uh-oh, disease is now life-threatening. Uh-oh. Whoa. Sorry, beavers. Uh, we gotta do some research to get the beavers to be happy. Hold on. We got a, an emergency beaver alert. Uh, board deteliosis? Uh-oh. Um... Active disease, research level one. We should probably quarantine these guys. Quarantine. Oh boy, I hope we don't lose any beavers. Oh boy. Probably get some more beavers too. Eh, they might end up having babies. We can release a few to the wild, but we'll have to see what their social group is like if they want more or less. Well, thanks, Taryn, for watching. I appreciate that. big are these little foxes? Well, there's no way to tell, I think, without releasing them in there. Out of the way, people. We got an emergency. Go, 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 go. Okay. Um, so they need a level 2 barrier. Oh, so the foxes can have a chain link fence, too. Oh, that is looking rough. Uh-oh. We better get another mechanic out here. Yep, I think we'll hire another mechanic after all. Maybe two more. A lot of fencing to maintain. This path doesn't go anywhere. Well, we got a lot of work to do, though, to add, like, uh, benches and stuff. Okay, let's add another path here. We can do a four meter wide here. better. Oh, dude, look at the cabin with the uh, the smoke coming out the top. Wait, what? They just put, like, a little smoke maker there. I think there should actually be a chimney. Eh, whatever. It's fine. We also need to, um, if you have too many of these, like, um, mechanics exposed, like, uh, solar generators or power generators or water filters or stuff like that. The, the guests really don't like that. 
You want me to do a laser defense grid? These are little foxes. They don't they're not gonna trouble nobody. They're shy. They just wanna eat little rabbits and be left alone. Same. Oh boy, chat. Should we should we do a we we probably should do a bear, shouldn't we? Should we do like a Kodiak bear or something in here? I don't know what this game has for bears. I know there's a grizzly question mark. What's the length of this fence? Looks to be about six meters, that one. Damn it. That's about eight meters. Let's go with that. Oh yeah, for the bear, yeah, we're we're putting in a laser defense turret. It's gonna be like we'll have an aircraft carrier anchored off the uh we'll have a carrier anchored out, out here just, just in case. If the bear thinks about getting out, we'll just have to level the zoo. Like that's that's it. It's just broken arrow and just like the the zoo's just gotta it's gotta go. No nobody would blame me. It would be understood. Everybody, everyone would be like, oh my god, what happened to the zoo? Bears. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then that means we can build a lot of barriers, chat, to keep them out. These foxes are going to get a lot of territory. But honestly, if, if I could build a bigger enclosure, I, I, I would. I would like to. Okay, I'll put the uh, entrance here for the staff. Yeah, before Jurassic World Evolution 2 comes out, we're definitely going to be playing the original again just to just to have some fun. I might even do the uh, original Jurassic Park scenarios again. Since they got most of the original crew back together to do the voice acting in that one. I enjoyed that. I think I'm going to put it on my bucket list to like hang out with Jeff Goldblum for some sort of game project. Hopefully for the next Jurassic Park or the current one. That'd be cool. You want me to stick with pandas or something? Well, if we're going to do bears, it'll have to be a bear that's native to North America. And I think... I don't know if they have the... Gri is the the grizzly and the brown bear aren't the same, right? Like the, the grizzly, the Kodiak, the brown bear, those are all different, I think. Right, we're going to set up a simple enclosure here and then we're going to... Oh, insufficient funds? Really? Oh, I spent all of our money. Oops. Uh-oh. Uh, Alright, well, price has increased to 30 bucks. And kids are 28. And we should be able to take out a loan. Let's do a 20,000. Well, I don't know. Let, all right, let's take a look at bears. We have the 
Formosan, black bear, the grizzly bear, the Himalayan brown bear, and the polar bear. So the best we can get is a grizzly. For now. Now the foxes might be able to get over these rocks, so um, I think we'll just adjust it so that way there's more rocks over here just to block them. Just be glad the cave bears are extinct. Yeah, they were massive, dude. Cave bears were gargantuans. Well, what we'll do is we'll put them into the enclosure and then we'll we'll fix it based on how things look. putting hobbits in our zoo. That's right, chat. Yep. New member. Welcome. A new member? No way. Robbie Wilson, welcome aboard. Thanks for the support. And thanks again, Miles, for all the rainbows, too. I may have missed you, but thank you again, everybody, for your support. low section on this back side, so let's try to uh, dig a, like a tunnel back here. For our arctic friends. And I guess any creature that's also found in, like for example, the arctic foxes aren't just, um, they're not just, um, native to North America and also is like you know northern Scandinavian Russia and things like that so anywhere where we can find other types of animals we can put in here too this is actually the DLC that I've wanted for a while is the plenty of North America stuff you know moose are not as uncommon but it's still pretty exciting to see them in the uh, in a zoo Perfect, we'll make a nice wintry area here for them.
I don't think they can go through to there. Cool. Alright. Let's move out some pathways to get out of here. Raptor, you're so loved by everyone, you know that? Um, I hope so. Well, not everybody. But the people who matter, I guess. To me. Okay, that, that looks great. So the little guys can go down here for water. They can go in there to sleep. Uh, we're going to put a cold section back there so they can get real literal chill. And I'm going to build a barrier over here to go into their enclosure. Probably... Actually, right here would be a good spot. Or... Oh, that'd be perfect, too. But I want to put their food here. these nice flowers here. Well, I guess that's because it's more of the water. Look at that. That's beautiful, man. Oh, there's even a little movement from the wind. Or maybe the water flow, if there is any. Oh, interesting. They put they put um, bushes and such underwater to simulate plant life, too. So those can, those can go uh, above or below water. Or both. A little in, a little out. That's cool. Okay, I'm going to work on the mountain side here. Make that look a little less meh. Oh, you can never build the Okay, we'll put some rocks there. I'm not even, I'm not even going to attempt that. Bears and the uh, pathing system and the terrain system for Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo are my arch nemesis. Okay, what's the thing we want to put in here called? A cooler? Or wait, call? No, collar. Air? air? Wait, cool. Cooler. Oh, it li literally is called a cooler. Cool. Okay. Oh, it has no power. Ugh. I could put a transformer here. Wait, there's not even power there for the light that they put in. spot for that would be over here. This is a staff only area over here, so it probably is well hidden.
I'll have to put like a little cab, um, some sort of wooden structure to hide that, but that'll be something we worry about later. Okay, so they want, like we can do like negative 20. And that means we can paint snow here too. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I was wearing I was wearing shorts. My previous stream, I like created a YouTuber that was as, just as powerful as me. now. cool if a cold area would uh, spawn some snow on top of the rocks, but uh, eh, it's all right. Okay, let's see if we can uh, get those foxes in here. And they should have water there. We just need a place for food. The shorts have been clipped. Oh, are they short shorts now? Calm down, ladies. Calm down. Find a small food tray. And let's put some food for the foxes over here. Rich Chase, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. Put a water thing around though, just in case. Now, what is this thing? Underwater plant feeder. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. There's a uh, plant and and uh, fish feeders for animals. Seals eat fish. Beavers would eat uh, greens, I suppose. And now we need to make some beds for them. We'll have to see. I, I'm assuming the Arctic foxes are pretty small. We'll we'll see how big they are in just a moment. Let's name them after our friends.
Wait a minute, that name looks familiar. This area is huge for these guys. This is massive. Okay, so that cleared out inappropriate species for this region. Now we just have to add some more uh, more trees to make up for the lack of space now. Oh yeah, that's right. Pinto Bless, yeah. Rich Chase with the 499. Thank you. Always see you cool with your chat. Yeah, we're every once in a while we get a little feisty, but 99% of the time chat's all right. You're all right, chat. You're all right. I guess. Okay, we got to put a bed down for these little guys. They're tiny. Look at them. Although I feel like they still have way too much um well, we gave them a massive space to go prowling, but that's good. Thank but, you. Uh, Always see you cool with your chat. I want to give them more uh, snow. But that seems fine. Yeah, you guys are okay, I guess. <laughs> Now, you guys know you're the number ones now. I mean, I have to say that, you know, because it's my YouTube channel and whatnot, but I also, I truly think that too. You go on the Discord, you'll see people hanging out and being great. Uh, the jittery camera is giving me motion sickness. Oh, is it jittery? It's pretty smooth for me. Is that, is that smooth for you guys? I mean, every once in a while, the game might freeze because of, like, um, it's loading. You know, or, sorry, auto saving. So that might be a thing. Okay, let's do a small, tiny little bed for these guys. This leaves room for a family. Oh. Okay, maybe I'll put some uh, rocks around here. All right, let's see how they're liking it. Let's see what they think. <laughs> that bed is still too big for him. All right, let's see what Tan thinks. All right, happy with the terrain. Setup is inappropriate. <laughs> 
Oh, too much long grass. Okay. So we'll delete that for small grass. And we have to work on enrichment, which is usually a little research. We'll start by painting the grass around the outside of the enclosure. And then we will uh, start working on donate. Oh, you know what? That's another thing the zoo needs is more donation bins. We're not bringing in enough cash. Let's actually get those down right away. That might explain our money situation too. Uh, Shiva666 Gaming. Uh, hey man, when's your next railroad online stream? Oh, we're probably going to do that. I think we'll do that like once a week. Just to kind of keep track of the progress of that game. Yeah. They've been adding a lot of stuff to it, but uh, the more time that passes, the better it'll be. So we'll see. How do I find donation bins? Oh, facilities, I bet. No? Oh. Ah, there we go. Bum. Little subtle hints here and there. We also should put up more, um, educational boards, too, but money's first. Holy crap. Gotta get that money, baby. That bridge is gonna collapse. Yeah, we need like um We need it to be made out of pure concrete. Alright, where else do we got some opportunities? Oh yeah, here we're the uh, oh there's some here. Well these are green, that looks cool. Not enough, though. We need more than that. I don't want to go bankrupt. Where's the entrance? Here. Oh, yeah, okay. What is that? Oh, ATM. Oh, <laughs> wow. If that's not a super subtle hint, there's an ATM machine literally six steps away from the donation bin. Wow. That's a good tactic. I'm going to put an ATM machine next to all my donation bins from now on. That's like, wow. I'm going to actually duplicate these. These look nice.
Wow, that is... That's a problem. We're going to need to build a bridge around that. Oh God. Okay. That area is incredibly busy because of the uh, the display going on. The uh, educational thing. Yep, we're in the bridge simulator now. Well, we gotta get those people out of there somehow. We could probably get a mop handle and, like, try to unclog it, but... Or maybe some, uh, Drano... You know, like, pipe snake or something or whatever. Alright, so sorry, people, sorry. I should undo that because they made some really nice path lights here and I don't want to mess with that. Hmm. Yeah, Jerry is the uh, same, the legendary Jerry who played with me in Red and Radford and everyone. Did an animal just escape? What the hell? What the hell? Wait, what? Oh. It glitched onto the roof of a building. <laughs> How did the sea lion get up there? Get back in there. What happened? Wait, what? How did that happen? Oh god. Hmm. And I I don't know what happened there. And apparently the game thinks the bullfrogs have escaped. Oh, it's uh, not ideal humidity. Okay, what do you like for humidity? American bullfrog. Oh, 
60 to 80 percent humidity. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down, sir. Put the sign down. I just I found it, sir. Well, it's because this thing lost power. How did that happen? I would assume the problem is that the uh, something went down briefly. Looks like this should be supplying power, but maybe it's broken. Okay, that's probably what happened. And I have no idea how a seal, like, blew up out of the water and got up on top of that, uh, that building, but that was hilarious. Okay, so that's problem solved there. Okay, let's, um, try to figure out a way to work around this. Want to fix these lights. I like them, so we're gonna have to use them. They're quite nice. I think we'll have to go to a six meter. going to work either. CF with the 39 months as a Raptor Plus member. Whoa. Almost 1 million. Keep it up. Yeah, thank you, man. We are uh, almost at the big O one mil. One's in chat if you were here before the big million. Well, our path is going to have to be weirdly formed. We'll make it look nice. If I can get rid of the staff path there, we could definitely do something different. Yeah, that's that staff path is uh, cramping our style. They even put like uh well they even put like fake supports under here. Oh boy. Yeah, 
Yeah. Hmm. Well, to be honest, this path doesn't really go anywhere either. We, we really don't need anybody on this path here at the moment. So we could cut this off for the time being. It doesn't really go anywhere. I mean, it does, but there's nothing there. All right, we'll leave that a dead end. And we'll leave the donation bins there. Oh, well. At least we've turned around the money situation. And what I think I'll do is, when we get a chance, we'll delete the um, staff paths here and put it over this way. And then connect it here underneath and then let this path expand. Anyway, all right, how's everything doing? Okay, let's research more barriers. Oh, it looks like we are. Oh, good. Electric fences, and then after that, one more type. All right, I see some opportunities for money. Right here. Very subtle reminders for our guests. Very subtle. Bum, 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 bum. Any Godzilla or Jurassic World fans here? Oh, I like both of those, Timothy. Certainly love myself some Godzilla. And Jurassic World 2. Wow, look at the little cabin here. Oh, it's for the moose. Oh. I wonder if the moose takes the canoe into town. We've got a moose in the hoose. A moose in the hoose, bud. Bum, 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 bum. Damn, what a lovely DLC this is. Bum, 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 bum. You love the vids? Well, thank you. I love the support. How oh, the uh, little fox is doing? Ooh, we got a new uh, achievement unlocked. Guest numbers. Have 1,600 guests. Ooh, damn, our guest numbers went up. Nice. Um, take a look at our animals list. Ooh, research complete. Give me more. All right, who's got the lowest welfare? James. Uh-oh. James, the North American beaver, is not feeling too happy right now. His nutrition is low, which means that he probably... Uh, just needs to go waddle over there and eat. James is hungry. Uh, he wandered all the way up there. Is he stuck? I'm going to move him just to make sure. He's probably fine, but let's just make sure. There you go, buddy. Yep. 
Come on in. Timberborn. This actually is a prequel to Timberborn. They're getting ready to... Uh... Yep, they're getting ready to take over the world. So this is actually a Timberborn uh, pre-DLC. Beaver City, baby. I was thinking about building a bunch of log cabins and stuff when I pictured today's stream, but... Now I'm really interested in just, like, everything. Look at them gathered around here plotting. The fourth one's showing up. Dinner time. Alright, let's take another look at our animal welfare. So James will increase as soon as... Uh, Bradford and Brenda had a kid named, uh, Aeromax Henry, oh my god. Little baby kitty. Oh. Oh. Kitty. Oh, is he going to climb the tree? <gasps> he can climb the tree. Someone call the fire department. Wow, that's cool. I didn't know they could do that. That's awesome. Pog lad. That's cool. And also, uh, it means you got to keep your trees away from the walls, because otherwise smart kitties like this can jump. Now the question is, is he a brave kitty? That's pretty damn cool, actually. Well, hopefully he doesn't try to jump over. He's just chilling. Okay, let's see. Guest education is low. Happiness is good, though. Energy, hunger, thirst. We could definitely... Let's build a restaurant and then start working on education. Um... I'm going to tab out for a second to see what else is new in the DLC. Okay, I want to make sure we've got all the animals here uh, that we wanted. So let's see, we've got the American Bullfrog, check. American Beaver, check. The Moose, the Cougar, the California Sea Lion. The Alligator, the Black-Tailed Prairie Dog. And... That should be everything. And then I want to put in, uh, like, timber wolves and stuff, too. I want to put in more North America animals. But let's build ourselves a, um, a restaurant, like a little, well, a, a drink stand. Hmm. We could put in like a little restaurant over here on this pathway area. I do like how so many of these buildings go out into the water. Like there's either like a, like a cabin or it looks like a sawmill or something.
Moose on one side, crocodile on the other there. Could also put in some more vending machines, but the drink stand itself allows us to do more customer like transactions per minute or whatever. Now, this is a good spot to put it, though, because there's a lot of people coming through. All right, we're going to put it here. Actually, here. Back those trees up for a little bit. What do I think of Godzilla vs. King Kong? Sounds cool. Hopefully nobody's on that path. A Budweiser Pavilion. Ah, uh, yes. Well, you, you might find me uh, on Steam quite often playing games. Often, developers will ask my permission to put up a video of me playing their game. And they'll write me and they'll be like, hey, we saw you played, you know, fill in the blank. Can we use your video for, like, promotion? And then they basically just download my YouTube video and put it on Steam. And it's like, that's cool. I don't, I don't mind that. Everybody will get to see a little bit more about the game and maybe promote the channel. I don't think it really works for my channel promotion, but I don't, I don't, I don't need anything more. I'm good. But also, same time, sub to me. Oh, nice. We can make a really nice patio out here and stuff, too, and then make this path go over this way. So there could be an opportunity to build a um, timber wolf enclosure here somehow, but it's going to be a lot of water. we got to figure out something else that goes in water. North American-wise. Here come our thirsty guests. switch the uh, thing around. I'm trying to get it parallel to the pathway. get the drink numbers up. So yeah, we'll build a, a nice little drink facility, you know, food here, maybe an outdoor thing. Nice little pond. Maybe we can, I don't know, get some sort of birds or something here. I don't know. Uh-oh. Oh, All this area gets so packed.
Yeah, you definitely want like a couple of smoothie stands or drink stands. It gets pretty crazy in those areas. Manatees? Um, don't think the game has manatees. You want me to have the uh, guests run through the cougar exhibit in order to get food? They would become food. That's going to be a hard sell. Okay, numbers are holding pretty good. We're knocking out goals. Uh, donation profits. Have a yearly donation profit of 41000 Ooh. We're at 34000 That's not bad. Activate the grid configuration. Select the path that you want to select. Symmetrical situations like that. Oh, really? Well, that's helpful. I think it's just, right now, just a placeholder remi to remind me that I want to put drink stalls here. Yeah, look at all the people it brings over, too. I kind of want to build, like, a big... What would be really nice is to take this area. Uh, this thing here. Something like that. Or better... Yeah, like this. Like, turn take this building and then turn it into a restaurant. Oh, look at all that open space here. Plenty of room to put, like, a cafe in there. Very nice. Look at all the... Look at all the, uh... The offices. Very nice. Uh, why do I call myself Raptor when I don't play any dinosaur games? Well, we play, uh... Oftentimes, uh, Jurassic World. <sighs> yeah, maybe some other dinosaur games here and there. You never know. Like, uh, Second Extinction, that type of thing. Oh, this is ultra chill. Very nice. I don't know what to put here, but I definitely want to put an animal here with a drink stall there. Looks like that thirst number is going up. Yeah, yeah, we gotta do education. Alright, let's put down two more drink stalls. Do I have to research vending machines? Maybe that's not a thing. It is. Back over here, I suppose. We definitely got some work to do in this area, but at least setting it up for now. Setting it up now so that way everybody can uh, buy stuff is good. Yeah, our current goal is to get like 41,000 in donations, so we need more donation boxes. We're at 34 out of 41,000, so we need more. possible to do a skywalk for the zoo we could uh, definitely like put glass enclosures around things if we want
Oh yeah, down here by the sleepy boys. Gotta be a way to see these guys from the outside too. Yeah, up here. Looks like a gopher. I could go for some dino nuggets right now. Bom, 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 bom. Where's he going? What's with the bear thing? Okay. I'm glad you. Ch I, I'm glad you reminded me, Chat. We should do a bear enclosure. Just for the lore. Hmm. What we could do is delete this path. There we go. We can build a big food facility here and then do a bear enclosure between the three lakes here. Nothing's out here, so we could we could fill in the land a bit. Yes. Okay, we're going to do a bare enclosure here. Oh, it's turning winter. Otter exhibit? Yep, we could do that. trouble like raising the land here why oh boy what's up Timothy how you doing dude Oh, a gator? Well, we're gonna we're probably gonna do um, a bear enclosure here. I'll wait till winter's over and we'll start building that. Oh, this looks incredibly cool. Wow, look at all the people wearing t-shirts. Yep, this is Minnesota. Get up 
April 8th, better go to the zoo. You know, actually, if we're gonna get if we're gonna get De Bearish, we better look and see how many bears we can get. your stored species. There we go. Ooh, looks like a couple of uh, ladies. Okay, we'll go for the one lady. I'm gonna have to wait on the rest. Animal welfare, uh oh. He asked your crush to be your girlfriend and she said yes. Oh good, you, you guys should take your first uh, visit to my zoo. What's wrong with this uh, prairie dog? Oh, is there not enough beds maybe? There's not enough beds. Wait, what? Oh, they don't like all these plants in here. Well, they don't mind that too much. Yeah, he's fine. His welfare must have dropped a little bit for some reason. No, it's okay. He's fine. Now we got a bear on standby, and that's going to be fun. That'll be fine. All right, let's see. I don't think the bears can get through that glass barrier. I don't know why I can't modify the water here. Yeah, we could get rid of the water first, then put it back. We could do that. But I should... I think I should be able to build it in the water, right? I thought that was something you could do. Uh-oh. I guess all that freezing was the uh, water being pumped out. Mm, 
that's separate from that water. Interesting. can barely contain your excitement for this channel yeah bear and contain are definitely two active words there that is for sure yeah, I wanted to add more space for the bears to uh, kind of walk around and maybe make like a cave for them. Well, that looks nice. So they should be able to kind of like walk in or swim there. And this side's elevated. I don't know if they can actually, well, bears can swim, but yeah, and they should be able to go over to the other side. So we're going to have to work on some uh, barri barriers. Not climbable and watertight. Okay, I think we'll go we'll give the bears most of this territory. Concrete. There it is. Two meters high. We definitely have the backside figured out. I'll probably build like a ridge on the backside. But it'll be cool because then the bears are all visible along the entire walkway. That'll be good. Now we'll build a barrier here then.
Okay, we gotta leave space for the... It's gonna be like a eating area here. I'm gonna lower the ground on this side too. On the on the inside of the enclosure, we're gonna lower the ground so the bears can't get up there. So it looks like the fence isn't tall enough now, but it, it will be. Well, up to that point at least. Select this precise pillar here. Nice. Oh, there we go. Sounds like the Berlin Wall. The bear the Berlin Wall is what we're building here. Keep all the bears out of chat. I don't want to see a single bear in the chat. Keep them out. Berlin Wall. Keep the bears on the inside, away from me. Nope. Nope, keep them away. a lot of space for the bears. I wonder if we can just raise the uh, glass on this side. A toast, if you will, to the to, to the big old bear block out. I really don't think the bears can get through there anyway. You'd want to recreate the Grand Canyon if you were playing this game? That's a good idea. Yeah, that way you can actually uh, like build a animal refuge inside of a uh, national park. That's cool. I like that idea. Yes, that's mostly for keeping the bears out. Which one of these bears is Mike Ditko? Oh boy! Now well, we gotta. I think we have a lady bear now. We gotta get a. We gotta get a bro bear. And then that means bear cubs. the wall a little bit. Yeah, 
You have a wolf pack exhibit? Yep. Yeah, I'd like to do timber wolves next. And uh, right now we have prairie dogs and we have all the stuff from the North America pack now. The beavers look great and the seals are nice too. Yep, definitely some good looking stuff here. And the free update allows a lot of new things related to height mapping. Which is pretty cool. And they've really made the barriers in this game, too, really really nice to use and to modify. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't do that one, Chief. And we can build a bear cave back here. And then we'll just, like, do some toys and stuff up front. This almost looks like it's good for rhinos or something. Any suggestions on where to take your girlfriend out for your first date? Yeah, you could get her a membership. Both could click or tap yeah, join and... Welcome. Invite her over for a live stream by turning on the notification bell. Make sure you're both subscribed, you know. It's a good idea. World President, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. All right, dude, we've got ourselves a setup for bears. It's not bad. It's definitely rough, but I'm going to add a lot to this, and I think it'll be perfect. This is perfect. The guests should be able to see all the bears from here. This is great. And we'll uh, tighten up our barrier, make it smoother, look nicer. And then we've got... Uh, I think we'll add a little door here. It's bearable? Yeah, I think so. But, Chad, if you don't like that, then we share that... We bear that burden together. Alright, let's try to put a... Uh, I don't know if the bears... Well, it could probably walk over that barrier, but we'll work on it. It'll be funny if a bear gets out. It'll make me go, lel. Good spot for a bear there. And then we'll figure out, you know, like, what what plants they don't like and whatnot. It's really completing the whole North American experience. This is really cool. Oh, nice. We have a male bear, too. All right, good. All right, let's get the two bears dropped off and see if they can escape. Chan, what's the hotkey for, like, um, animal escapes, too, where you can see... Like, how do you see if they can escape or not? You drop them in the pan, and then what? Oh, invalid destination, as we don't have a path leading to the door. <laughs> and the door is underground, so that makes sense. 
<laughs> yep, that makes sense. I'll tell. I'll, I'll tell. Does the fence have to be? Uh, we'll we'll figure that out. It's under heat maps. Okay. Wait, I think this has to be reversed. doing this very basic to set it up and then we'll do a lot of the stuff around it's a good idea just to throw some things in and outside and then really start to perfect it but this is cool now like this means in this park like no matter what, if you look left or right there's going to be an animal on display pretty much all times if you look to your right here we have arctic foxes you look to your left we got bears you look back to your right we've got crocodiles Look back to your left, and then there, boom, right back to the prairie dogs. It's crazy. It's crazy, chat. Insane. Pog lads in chat. That's how insane it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we could do, like, a cool little uh, archway here, like a bear cave. Yeah. We could do, like, a, a arch rock, and then, boom. Good transition into a new area. Yeah, that looks looks good. That'll look good. Okay, let's add the bears now. Hey, bear. Shh. Then we'll add the food, and we'll add the water filter and the fresh water and stuff. Let's take a look at filters. Yeah, the waters here are bad, but they don't seem to mind, which is weird. And this is just, like, this is above the beaver dam, so I don't know why that's so dirty. Oh, I guess the beaver comes up here and like... Oh, I see. Yeah, the beavers probably swim through there and then go back and yeah. Okay. Okay, where are these bears? Okay, so just imagine like a nice cabin building here. And then imagine the uh, bear exhibit kind of looks a little more smooth, but... Um, the ability to be able to see the entirety of the bear exhibit from the walkway is pretty amazing. And I don't think the bears will be able to climb up this stuff, even though it looks pretty easy. But we can. Uh, what I'll do is lower the ground rather than raise the barrier. So we have arctic foxes, we have beavers, we have prairie dogs... Moose, crocodiles, and now the bears. The bears are in the vanilla game, I'm pretty sure, but they fit. All right, let's check heat map for escape. Good, it seems they can't escape. Then we got to build like a nice big old cave here for him. This area here, this this dirt is just perfect for a cave, or like a series of rocks and stuff. That'll be really cool. Get, watch it, chat. Watch it. Oh yeah, now we can do like water feeders here too. I I wonder, can the can bears eat fish in this game out of the out of the water?
We can try. Should I go for it? Uh, let's see. I'm going to go into the workshop for a minute and take a look and see if I can find a cool sign. Let's see. Planet Zoo. Um... Actually, wait, with their workshop stuff within here. The bears can eat fish from the water. Oh, good. All right, let me let me at least get them some basic stuff down for a little bit. Uh, let's see. Can we make an underwater tunnel? I've seen that before with the penguins, and I think I've seen them swim through them. So, it, yeah, I think actually I, I've the, one of the coolest things I've seen is that I've seen an outdoor area to an indoor area where they can swim through a tunnel to the outside. But with, if they swim inside, they'll be like enclosed, and that's where their enclosure is. But people can walk through there, too. So it's like a like a big dome where like half of it is a pathway and the other half is for them to like sleep and stuff. And people can see them through the window. Well, that's pretty cool. Hey, check it out. We got people stopping to look at the bears. Could throw some windows in here. We can make that path wider. Okay, I need to put down some more... Um, food trays for the bears. We're also going to need a water filter, but I also like putting a. I also like putting just a little water thingy down, just in case. Underwater feeder box. Looks like it does count. That's cool. So I'll probably flatten out the bottom in a few places. This this is going to take a lot of work to do an enclosure to the level of some of these other enclosures. I think the uh, the prairie dog one is just genius, though. The ability for them to walk around and go under here, and then the people being able to be above them and see it as they go in or whatnot. That's crazy. I have one of the best voices on YouTube. Well, thanks for watching, man. What the? There we go. Getting crazy in there. Man, this is this is my favorite park by far. This just feels like home. Can I curve this berry at all? I can. mess with it too much though. Yep, YouTube will continue to uh, YouTube just refuses to address any of the problems that we continue to report. I've made several polls where I have thou like seriously like four, five, six thousand of you say, hey, uh, there's a problem and YouTube's just like, no, there's not a problem. And it's like whatever dude. Over the last, uh, 2020, 2019 and 2020, YouTube was great. And this year they've just been really snooty and really 
They ask me to test out new features, but then we give feedback. I don't know. It's that same kind of annoying when you go to your doctor with a problem. And it's like, uh, hey doctor. Uh, I lost my leg. And it's like, oh dude, uh, just don't use that leg then. Any other questions? Uh, yeah? Okay, well, we're out of time for today. Um, I guess you can come back anytime you want, though. $10,000. Bye. Or I guess the equivalent is where, like, you maybe have, like, a problem with your car, and you know what the problem is, but you don't have the tool to fix it or something, and you just tell the mechanic. It's like, yeah, it's the, uh, yeah. It's probably the uh, catalytic converter. But I don't have a glurp glop gloopy gloop to fix it. And the guy's like, no, nah, it's probably your radiator. And you're like, no. Nah, it's definitely the catalytic converter. And then there's like an argue. An argument. Oh, there's an injured animal. What happened? High amount of litter. Uh-oh. Yeah, I guess that's fair. We got almost 2,000 people in the park. How did one of our animals get injured? Another thing YouTube does is it's kind of like when you go to get your hair cut and it's like, so what can I do for you? Uh, you know, take a little off the top and maybe trim the sides. Uh, no sideburns. And they're like, hey, I'm feeling creative today. We're gonna, we're just gonna shave your head bald. I think you'd look great that way. In fact, we've gotten a lot of feedback from other people with hair, and they say, it's like, no. Oh, come on. Here at Great Clips Trust and Safety, we trust in our safety of our profits. So we're going to manipulate things to increase our trust and safety of our shareholders. Uh, could you not do that? No. Can I do anything else for you today? Uh, no. Part of the system is just to whittle you down so that way you just don't ask anymore. Don't have to listen to feedback if they just give up. <laughs> anyway, that's just my frustration. Because I care, and I know they do too. I know my representatives care. They do. But I've seen too many email chains where it's like, problem is reported to A, where it then goes to B, and then it goes to C, and then it goes back to B, and then back to A. Ugh. Wait, what the hell? Oh, died of old age. Oh. Oh. F in the chat. I'm so right, though. Yeah. I mean, man, there was a time in... The current YouTube dashboard, for those of you who use that, me and probably like 20 other people... Uh were asked and we flew out to New York and we were literally drawing squares and telling YouTube where to put stuff um, you know the likes of like Creekcraft who's a um, Roblox streamer and Ola England who is a Swedish rock star basically like, I, I was sitting next to these people we were chatting we were all like good friends you know and talking about this stuff and uh, we felt I, I felt like we truly made a difference for everybody to make it better and I think that section is pretty good but then you know, somewhere around like YouTube Shorts, YouTube stopped caring. Every interaction is just YouTube Shorts. Like if if YouTube had like a a tornado coming to one of their buildings and they needed to tell their employees to like hunker down in the emergency stairwell, it'd be like, "Attention, employees, we have a incoming uh, tornado for your own trust and safety. Seek shelter in a uh, designated zone. Teams uh, green through red." Also, if you tried YouTube Shorts, you get you all should make YouTube Shorts on this. Uh, appreciate that, thanks. It's like, wow, dude. <laughs> oh, well. You appreciate the time and efforts? Yeah, I know. No, I know. I know. I'm just, I'm just hurt, that's all. I just feel not as important anymore.
But when we hit a million subs, YouTube will tweet. They'll put out a tweet. You know, it'll be like, congratulations, Raptor, a million subs. Yeah. And it'll be all nice, and that'll be cool. And all that, I guess. Uh-oh. It's snowing, chat. Let's see if chat can get up to 500 likes before winter's over. Chat, you're at uh, 492. Yeah, a zoo would be a good first date. That's actually a very good first date. You go to somewhere where you can just walk around. Zoos are fantastic for that. Maybe not museums because you want to kind of chat a bit. A zoo is good, though. Movies, eh. You, know, you, don't get to, you don't get to talk, but like being next to somebody that you care or that you're interested in is good. Dinner, a movie. That's kind of like a little... T-Rex, musical note. <laughs> Don't stop believing, musical notes, T-Rex. You're right, I should I should be more positive. It's just... I don't like when there's problems that I can solve, but I can't solve them. It relies on somebody else. It's like when you're... um. It's like if you were, if you were looking at a Where's Waldo book... And you found Waldo, and then you have to describe to the person where Waldo is, and they're just not seeing it. And then they kind of get bored and stop listening to you right before they're about to find it. It's like, okay, do you see the corn dog stand? Yes. Okay, left of the corn dog stand, there's a garbage can that has a, a like a, a fish bones in it. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, left of that, there's a clown holding a balloon. Do you see the clown holding the balloon? Yes. Do you see at the top of the balloon? Yes. Do you see the bottom right side of the Ferris wheel? Yes. Do you see the ticket booth next to the Ferris wheel? Yes. Okay, on top of the, I'm bored. <laughs> and it's like, no, he's sitting right there on the ticket booth. And this is bored. Just bored. Like, no, nah, I'm out. I'm like, ah. All right. Anyway, enough of my whining. I, I always am weirded out in this game that they're always wearing t-shirts and stuff. Like, this guy here in the hoodie, or gal or whomever, has the right idea. Like, some of these people are here in, like, literal tank tops and stuff and shorts and skirts. It's like... Man, I wish people would change their outfit for winter. It's so weird. Ooh, look at this, though. I like this. The transition between snowy and, uh... And non-snow. That's nice. Oh, that's too solid, though. That's too solid. Keep the protesters out, people. Ooh, listen to the echo. Yeah, that's a good touch. That there's like a different sound for wood echo. Okay, why are the animals all mad? Oh, I know why, because they lost one of their... They lost one of their fellow... Itties. That's a little annoying, though. Like, the prairie dogs want to have a certain specific social group. One of them passed away from old age, and they're a little sad about it, and then there's protests immediately. Like, you're literally mad at me for Mother Nature. You're mad at me for death. For a natural death. <laughs> Alright, uh, how are the bears doing? I want to... Uh, the bears need a little love. I've been ignoring them. Sorry, bears. Let's get along. Alright, they want more ground coverage. I'm going to leave all these trees here, though. Obviously, they want more long grass. Oh, they also want a hard shelter. Fair enough. No, they won't. They don't want any long grass. Let's give them more short grass. You know what I'm thinking? If if I put this, if I put short grass here, I wonder if percentage-wise, this will increase that number. We'll make a cave here later and plop down a quick temporary. Hard shelter. Another good thing to do in this game, too, is if you're looking to make money, you can always plop the animal in first and then use the donations and such for for the animal to then continuously uh, improve the shelter. 
Installing toys, completing research, giving them all the things that they want. So let's see, right now we're at 36% long grass. So overall, this should dilute the long grass number. Since we're converting it from mud to long grass. Uh, pretend to care and delay if more is needed to ridicule and exaggerate and shout. Finally, ignore phase. What the hell? Wow, some of you guys are geniuses. Oh wow, this went from 36 to 35. Oh, 34? Okay, now we're, now we're making progress. How do you change the color of the raptor eye? It's based on how long you've been a member. Everybody uh, say hi in chat, by the way, and let me know where you're watching from. I'll, let's see where our members are. Let's see who's subscribed. Let's see where people are watching from. I am curious. No, I'm, I always... It is a little bit of a trick to get you guys to say hi, but it's just because I like you. But I'm also curious, too. You're from Canada? Okay. Good. Got some Canadians in here, bud. The bear looks like it died. <laughs> He's just napping. Minnesota, Germany, uh, wonderful. Ohio, South Carolina, Louisiana, Florida. Vancouver, bud. Nice. Estonia, very nice. Mississippi, Ontario. Good. I'm going to paint all this area grass, and then we're just going to revert back and start painting things mud and dirt. <gasps> Jessica B., the Arctic Fox, is about to have offspring. Oh. A proud motherly moment. Bum, 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 bum. How is this mostly still long grass? Well, the number's still coming down. Well, it's better. So the goal then is to um, continuously paint the enclosure, plop down a nice cave, and then cover it with trees. And then our happy little bears will have some happy little fish to eat. We got some fish that can be deployed there. I, I guess the keepers need to reach those, but they're alright for now. Very nice. All right, guys, it was very nice to have you here today, too, for our live stream of Planet Zoo's new North America pack and also the version 1.7 update. If you haven't checked out the game in a while and you have it, it is uh, free for the 1.7 update, and the DLC is $9.99 for a lovely new map and a new time scenario in the same place and also all sorts of new, uh, I'm assuming, new items to build with and also bears and stuff. But you can read more about it. There's a uh, bear... Well, not the bears, but the... Um, Timberwolves and the bears are old, but the arctic foxes and the uh, sea lions and the, uh, the uh, alligators and the lovely cougars are all new. And they're fantastic. I like them a lot. It's good stuff. Very beautiful. Very, very peaceful, I'd say. What a gorgeous park that is. I like that. A zoo, I suppose. All right, guys. I'm going to get out of here and get some dinner and then uh, get on to making some videos for you all for tomorrow. And we'll be back for some live streams. Probably less than uh, a week now until we're a million sub channel. So thanks again for subscribing and turning on the notification bell and hanging out. And I'll see you all tomorrow. We'll figure out what we're going to do and uh, I'll see you all next time. Tomorrow we'll have some uh, awesome survival games up on the channel. A new one that uh, is a space themed survival game. Building a space base on a foreign moon. On a moon of Jupiter. I'll let you guys see what that one is tomorrow. Have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night, folks. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.
Highly recommend Planet Zoo, by the way. Very, very good and fun game. Educational and very creative. Give it a try. See you next time.